In this video, we're going to look at supply and demand when we have two related markets, when the goods are related as substitutes. So market X, in the market for good X, the quantity demanded of good X looks as follows. Notice that the quantity demanded of good X and the price of good X are negatively related. So as the price goes up for good X, people want to buy less of good X, just the law of demand. Also note here that the coefficient on the price of good Y enters as a positive. This indicates that good X and good Y are substitute goods. As the price of good Y goes up, people want to buy less good Y. They'll seek out substitutes, good X being a substitute. People will buy more good X following an increase in the price of good Y. Here is the quantity supplied equation for good X. Notice that quantity supplied and the price of good X are positively related, just an upward sloping supply curve for good X. And then we have this other market, the market for good Y. The quantity demanded of good Y looks as follows. Once again, the quantity demanded for the good and the price of the good itself, quantity demanded for good Y and the price of good Y are negatively related, just the law of demand. But as the price of good X increases, people will seek out a substitute. They will want to buy more of good Y. So the coefficient on the price of good X here is positive because good X and good Y are substitute goods. And here's a quantity supplied for good Y. So we want to find the equilibrium price and quantity in each market. So setting the quantity demanded for good X equal to the quantity supplied using the equations from above. I'm now just going to solve this for the price of good Y. You'll get this result. So I added three price of good X to both sides. So that's where this 18 price of good X is coming from. And then I subtracted 82 from both sides. And that's where this minus 87 is coming from. We're going to do a similar thing in the market for good Y. Setting the quantity demanded for good Y equal to quantity supplied. Setting these two equations equal to one another. I'm going to solve for the price of good X. So subtracting 92 from both sides. This is where this min minus 98 is coming from. Minus 92 minus 6. And then adding 4 times the price of good Y to both sides. That's where this 36 price of good Y is coming from. Dividing everything through by 2. So the next step, I'm going to take this result here, this 18 P subscript Y minus 49, and plug it into this equation down here, this P Y subscript equation. So making that substitution, substituting one equation into the other, we get this result. Simplifying that, 18 times 18 is a 324 times the price of good Y, and so on. Collecting our price of good Y terms and dividing them by 323, the price of good Y will equal $3. What is the price of good X? We well, can take this price of good Y and plug it into this equation up here. And we'll see that the price of good X is 18 times 3, or 54 minus 49, or $5. So we got the equilibrium price in both markets. Now let's get the equilibrium quantity. So to get the equilibrium quantity in the market for good X, the easiest thing to do is take the price of good X and plug it into the supply equation in the market for good X. So 15 times 5 minus 5, the equilibrium quantity here in the market for good X is 70 units. And to get the equilibrium quantity in the market for good Y, Take the price of good Y, the equilibrium price, and plug it into the supply equation in the market for good Y, and you get an answer of 90 units. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.